I can't see that, so somebody will have to click it. I don't want to hear anything. I guess. After them blues. Started out up there in some pretty shallow water. Didn't get any bite or anything. I moved down here to almost 30 feet deep. I done had a couple bites, so I said, I'll go live. I don't know if y'all can see, but I got one, two, three, four, five, six rods out. Shad on a couple of them and a chicken for the rest. Chicken for the win. I'll occasionally look around and see if anybody's in the basement. But, you know, when I go live, it gives me a reason to talk to myself. <laughs> People don't think I'm fucking crazy there. It ain't too bad cold out tonight. There ain't no wind as calm as can be. The wind's slight. Just enough to pass the time. I can't even see nothing. Big Mike. Hey, Big Mike. Sorry about, about your old lady, man. I would. James. Dale, the troublemaker. Hey, Slip. You've been out fishing long tonight. I've only been here about an hour and a half, probably. Just enough to catch a couple of shad. Move a couple of times. This is my second spot. Run out the middle. Big old flat down through here. I can't read chat because I can't look around. It's too far away for my bifocals and too close for the other ones. I'm just totally blind. Got plenty of coffee, got cigarettes. We sat, had a good supper. Had meatloaf, green beans and taters, collard greens, dinner rolls. Lord help. I don't see no red dot in the basement. I think I posted the link, I think. Yeah, I blinked a few times since then. It's called blinking out. <laughs> Come on, I want to see one of these rods just bend over and go about three hours deep. Hey, if y'all want to go surfing, go surf. If I catch something, you can come back and I'll tell you and we'll rewind and watch it. That's what's cool about being live like that. You can do surfing. Surfing USA. 
I don't see no red dot. I don't think. Let's see if I take my glasses out. Good God, it's even worse. Oh, shit. Fire and save matches. MI6, what's happening, my brother? I can see a little bit there now. Mm -hmm. Come on. Oh, y'all can't see shit, can you? <laughs> but that's the only place I got to set the phone without it thinking it might go in the water. I have lost several in this bag on time. Cat Tucky, what's up, brother? Chad, I'm out there. Where you at? Come on down. I'll go to the dock and pick you up. You know, I thought about pulling boards when I got out here. I got everything out, got set up, dropped the trolling motor, got some rods out, got them set up, got the planer boards out, getting separated them left, right, and all that crap, you know, going to bait it up, got to look around. My down remote controls in the down truck. I could have got the foot pedal out, but I've never used that. It's brand spanking new. I mean, I got it in here in case there is an emergency time, you know. It just wasn't that bad of an emergency. <sighs> I'm seeing a red dot. Yeah, come on. Do 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 do, do. rocking on over, bend over, catfish rod, take it down. At one time this afternoon. I pulled up and shut the motor off, let the boat come to a complete stop, suspended four rods down off each corner of the boat, and cranked them up about a half turn. And I bet for 45 minutes, I didn't go 15 feet. No trolling motor, no motor, just sitting there. That's how calm it was. Marking balls of like crappie or stacked up on top of one another, or balls of bait. Just everywhere. I don't know if the bluegill or probably bluegill, crappie, and shad. And the carp are jumping. And the rods ain't bending. And the pressure, that's, you know, one of the things was I. One of the reasons why I came out tonight is the, the pressure was supposed to be dropping like 30.6 today to like 29.8 or something like that. I thought, sure, that might make the fish bite after a good 70 degree day. The water temperatures climbed up. They're 53 and a half where I'm sitting at. Maybe, let me see. Man, I have my fish finder that got turned off. How'd that happen? Is my phone even charging? How do I tell? Randy Ogrey Swain. I can't tell if my phone is charging now. Well, y'all can... I posted the link. Somebody come in, read, talk some bullshit or something. Cause, damn, I get tired of talking to myself. Cause I answer myself quite often, and that ain't pretty. It really ain't. Cause I cuss myself out. Oh man, what the hell? Stay up.
I could do this to see if it's going to still charge it. Yeah, I heard the bang. <clears throat> Come on, you sons of bitches. One of you get snagged or something. Calls me to drink another cup of coffee. And I get real jittery when I drink a lot of coffee. And think that, think that, that right, Juju Jing Bug? Jing Bug, is that right? Yeah. You know, they either have to go behind me in 12 to 15 foot water, or in front of me, 20 foot water, and 30 foot, 28 feet, let's see, 20, about 25 feet right here, I think it was, back of the boat. And I got it covered going into the other. Well, my neighbors asked me if I was going to do my garden this year. I said, honey, you can't do nothing to March 21st. Or April 17th. We have a March 21st frost. Then don't do it to April 17th. Hell, at this rate, I'll be asleep here in 30 minutes. Damn. Come on, fish. Did 
the finickiest body of water I believe I've ever put a rod in. If you ain't here at the right time, you just don't get it. And I don't, I fished it and fished it and fished it and just can't figure out what the right time is. Oh, my God, look in there. Did y'all see that? Oh, my God, I was, whew, God damn, what the hell was that? <laughs> I don't know if y'all see it first rod or not. I doubt it. I think we done that about a half hour ago. Just that one freaking peck like that. Oh, there he goes again. He's pecking at her again. Come on, take that son of a bitch now. I ain't getting up till you bend around. I'm comfortable and warm in my spot. This is it. I'm going to pull up. What's that? Uh, Lieutenant Dan says, is that all you got? Lieutenant Dan said, that's all you got. Must have been all he had. <laughs> that one son didn't really mean to piss you off like that. Somebody roll up, click the link, come in, shoot the shit, damn. Why does it always seem to be the same freaking rod everywhere you fucking go gets hit? They're all the same, pretty much. I think. I doubt it. Probably a little bit of channel cat. Damn it. About two pounds. Can't get that ten off hook in his mouth. I don't know, that might be a eight. I believe that's an eight. I believe that's a tangling with catfish eight off. No, what is it? It's either a Tangling with catfish or a, a catfish sumo. Might be one of them Japanese ones I got too, because I got some Japanese made ones. My George, they're good. I'm telling you right now. Hell, you get, I think it was 15 hooks for, and then 10 and 12 off, offset. Sharp as a freaking razor. I think you get 15 hooks for eight bucks. I'll have that package out one day and I'll show you all that package, what they look like when they come in. Y'all know over time, 
the past three years, probably two years. We'll go two years, 24 months. I bet I have lost. I think I have been up to like seven cast nets. I have found several of them that's fairly cheap. But they work excellent. I like the seven footer. To me, for my needs, seven footer is all I need. I think they make a tape net too. I need to find out for sure before I mention any names or anything. Or to do a series, though, it says uh, what to look out for when throwing a cast net. Don't throw there. <laughs> and then be stupid enough to come back a month later and throw in the same damn spot because you know you got five or six big bluegill out of it. Then do it again. Don't do that. You got to watch throwing around docks because the cables and the anchors and them things. Feel a little breeze now. Oh, here after a while, you don't see one of them poles that just go slam down. God damn down. Mm -hmm. Who's the last one that said anything of him? Uncle Lou. Well, hello, Uncle Lou. Uncle Lou, you can come up and read for me. moved the boat when I got up moved around. What that does. Hmm. I see a UFO with unidentified flying objection. Damn, they said I was supposed to get down 44 tonight. But damn, it's pretty freaking cold. I feel it. But it's racing season. I'd sit in the stands at a racetrack. But it's colder now, shit. Three-day-old owl shit. I think I'm going to have to mute the mic and exit some coffee. There you go. I ain't getting it till you get it. Get it. Take it. Just take it. Take it. Take it. You're on there. I see you're on there. Way over 
I can see y'all. I can turn the camera on. Oh, he put a little. Don't you dare turn it. Oh, we can drop the water out there. Get away from that anchor. Oh, he just come off right there. Oh, shit. How the hell does that happen? That son of a bitch. How the hell does that happen? That just irks my shiznit. God. Damn! Fucking you, what the fuck am I? Motherfucker. I hate these motherfuckers. That's a good bitch, too. I've never seen him, but he come. Hmm. He probably come 50 yards across through there. That's some shit. I mean, shit. Bullshit. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. All the cursing and carrying on. It's bullshit when one comes off like that. I mean, five feet from the boat, probably ten feet down. I didn't even see him flash or nothing yet. Damn, damn, damn. He was pulling drag. How does that hook come out like that? How? I mean, the piece of chicken ain't no more than probably a little less than a half a dollar, probably. That was one of them down. I hell, I ain't never missed a fish on them hooks right there. God, it just chaps my ass. <clears throat> Son of a bitch, Harold. Hope I obey Harold, name Harold, because I'll cuss him. Damn it, Harold. You gotta smoke now, fudge. Oh, fuck me to tears. Damn. Come back around, honey. There's more down there than just that one piece. I sit back down, get back to my little warm spot I had. I don't understand how that hook can come out like that. I just don't get it. I mean, yeah, he was swimming right at me, but I caught up to him, and man, he was pulling drag. I just don't understand. Okay. The past is the past. The future is here. You got to do better next time. That's all there is to it. That's why you don't have sponsors and bullshit because you can't catch the son of a bitches. Yeah. 
them shad popping everywhere out here. You can hear the hail splapping the water. That splash he made out there on top of the water, he's bigger, he was, he's bigger than 10 pounds. I'm pulling some drag a little bit, and that's pretty tight. Whatever. The other night, I was back there in the back. I was anchored up about 30 feet from the bank. I had bluegill and uh, shad. Pretty fresh. I mean, like within an hour. <laughs> and uh, I had one of them thrown out pretty close to a big log that was wedged up into a tree and a bunch of debris and like piled up behind it. They made a big old debris circle about 20 feet wide and I know the water there was probably about four or five foot deep under the thing and probably where I was throwing that was going to be you know five or six foot deep I actually throwed it just a little too hard it bounced off the log and it probably wasn't three foot deep there and I let it sit there and all of a sudden I look and that, that line it was all the way up the bank, and I started reeling in, pull it in, got him all the way to the boat, just like that one, and he come off. And so I throwed it back in the same damn spot, and five minutes later, got him to the boat. It was a 19-pounder. I mean, same damn spot. I don't know if it's the same fish or, or what. And I'm thinking more than likely. All oh, the fish stories one can tell. So if somebody come up on the panel there and tell a fish story, I don't give a damn if it's a lie or not. j Dog, he got all kinds of stories. And they all true. I think. Really no proof, you know. Photoshop does wonders. <laughs> Somebody sent him a message and tell him I said that and he'll be in here. I want a challenge. You want to go, bro? You want to go, bro? You want to go? Come on, bro. Let's go. Well, Curtis. Where's Curtis at? He's always wanting to go. Let me see if I can receive the chat by doing this for a second. Oh, yeah, Chad, y'all did. Yak Shore, what's going on, buddy? Yak Shore, I just had one come 50 yards from out in the middle all the way around to the bank and come right up within 10 foot of the boat and then come off. So I don't know. Just, I don't know. I don't understand how a hook can come out. The water temperature was 50. I don't know. My fish finder went off. Did I turn it off? Or? Well, I guess I did. He said, only post <laughs> golden crowd. <laughs> but we'll sit here a while longer see if we can't get nothing to buy. So all we can do is sit here. I 
I don't know, Anthony. I mean, he he pulled drag. So, got him probably 10 feet out and 10 feet down, probably. I didn't ever even seen him flash. He wasn't up shallow enough from the top to, to flash me, so. I don't know. Uncle Don, what's going on? All right, y'all. Let me see here. Let me get this thing. Oh, it's side scan it on. Oh, man. I watched her this morning for about four hours, just like we used to. We done the floors lava thing where she jumped from the ottoman to the couch to a chair. I don't know, the, my recliner to the rug, <laughs> back and back and forth, all the while packing a balloon. I'm going to mute y'all just for a second. I'm going to.
Damn, I've been talking like I've been some bitch too. <laughs> the rock ain't real, probably dog. I ain't never touched these some bitches. Don't even know how to. I took one apart one time. It's kitchen table. But man, I'm gonna figure these things out. I took it apart and that some bitch went rolling across the fucking table, pieces apart and everything. I said, fuck this. Throw this some bitch away. Had to. That comes to drywalling and framing. I can do that. It comes to mechanics. Burrito, what's up? Yeah, I posted the link back up the yard somewhere. Somebody wants to come in just bull crap. I don't care. Talk about your shit. I don't care. As long as I get to hear somebody else talk. Damn. Damn. You know, plus it's a good thing, you know, from where I'm fishing, sitting at, I could be at the boat ramp in 10 minutes after reeling up and everything. I can be at home in 15. That's what I'm good about it. And the potential to you know, catch a good fish is here. I mean, other people do it all the time. <laughs> That's that's fucked up. I mean, that's real fucked up. I uh, don't wake the baby up. You'll be all right. Yeah. I'll be all right, bro. I know how it is, man. When they go down, they sometimes. I mean, you just walk across the floor and the floor squeaks when you wake up. What the hell? Other time they had the TV on and watching Star Wars or something, loud as could be, just sleep right through it. I'm supposed to be a, in a flight path for daggone airplanes and helicopters. There comes the third one tonight from that same spot. Oh, I know what that is. That's that dad on flight school, I bet. They probably got a set pattern to fly, teach these brothers to fly at night. See you, Chad. And I don't understand that when you teach them, fuckers, they turn that son bitch off and let it glide. Who wants to turn off an airplane while you're in the sky? I mean, damn. Mom and them raised no idiot, but I was pretty close. <laughs> but I ain't that big an idiot.
four-ounce sinker hit one of them in the head, maybe it knocked the son of a bitch out. Four-ounce sinker, boy. Go down, hit one right in the head, and I'll just clean the fuck out. I'm gonna try to look see if I can turn this thing around here. Yeah. I don't know if y'all can see what y'all can see or can't see. Water temperature 51 right here at night. 28 feet deep. Ain't that some shit down there? I don't know. I just need another cup of coffee. That's what I need. I think I'm gonna sit down and have me a cup of coffee. Y'all can sit and look at them pretty rods all night long, just like I can. Nobody wanna come up talking now, so I'm just gonna sit here, smoke a cigarette, pour me a cup of coffee. Let's do that first. Oh, it's still popping hot, table. Oh, oh, a little bit more. Yeah, perfect. It don't get much better than this. Boom, fishing poles, cigarettes, black coffee, no wife, no kids, no grandbabies. Just me and... You and no catfish. And other ones we want to come for the party. I don't know how I ended up with three lighters in my pocket. I'm the only one here. There ain't nobody still my huh? Said it's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. I sat back there the last year. In a spot back there. Some guys on a side by side thought they was gonna be sneaky. They come down through there. I can see them side like skylines up there. Come down through there, eased up down to the wood line there, and then shine a big light out on me. I just said, I already know y'all's there, boy. It's two young boys, they freaked out and took off. I think that last pole I just throwed out there getting a tap. I can't really tell. Since I got it moved around a little bit, the boat picked up just a little bit of sway. I don't like that one rope. I think it stretches once it gets wet. It's one of them down climber ropes, you know. At Harbor Freight one day they had them for 150 feet long for like 10 bucks or something like that. Well, it'd be good enough for a little anchor. Their anchor ain't much. 
but it's all died back there in the back. Look, get me another cat river anchor. Well, you know you're staying with them bad boys a hole. Damn, Chad jumped the side of the boat. Oh, damn, the phone turned sideways. I'm going to let me know when that shit happens. Coffee sitting there steaming away. Y'all ever heard of them guys using them things called thumpers? those really were because I can remember going on fishing when I was little and if you spoke or got loud my papa would back in your ass sit down boy be quiet <laughs> fish here again <laughs> it's like damn pap then I was a little fella too But I've seen videos of old people that swear by it, so. Man, these daggone bifocals on these glasses. I'll be looking over here and I go to just kind of like turn my head and if it's bifocals, I catch one of them rods and make it look like it moves. Freaks me out. You know what the only, my only fear is leaving that truck sitting up there? And somebody taking the Cadillac converter. We talked to one guy that said that he was out here fishing and it's almost getting close to dark. And he said by the time he got to the ramp, it was already dark. And he said he noticed a car parked beside his and he said there was two guys laying down on the ground. He said he tied his boat up and everything. We were walking up on the, park, the parking lot. So they come up out of there running, got another car, they hauled ass peeling out my left out of there. He went over and looked and they done had the front cut and it's starting on the back. So it cost him $160 to go have it welded back up. It was cheaper than filing their insurance claim.
I'm thinking I might order real that one that got hit a while ago. You know? Yeah, screw it. I ain't checking nothing. I know it's on there. <laughs> ain't no fuck up. That's bad when you already know you don't even have to get up. <laughs> uh, dang. Wowza, wowza, baby. Ah, uh, yeah, I know, Miss Lisa. It sucked right at the boat. I don't understand. I just do not understand how the hook can come out like that after he was pulling, dragging everything. I just don't understand it. I think y'all can see at least one, two, three, four of them. I guess four out of six ain't bad. I'd take that on the gambling table every day. You know, this little lake ain't much. 170 acres, probably 180, something around in there. Depends on <laughs> what part of the season you is. And, uh, but it has the potential. The potential for a good fish. I mean, no state records or nothing, but. They're here. We just got to be where where they are, and I ain't. If somebody else is live, let me know. I don't want to go over nobody normal who's normally. Good God bless America. Somebody fell in over there. Remember that was a beaver one. I think that was that beaver. He'll be over this way here in a minute. Let me know. Splash the boat. Probably real quiet, real still. Okay, he'll come within 10 50, just right out of the light. Slam it. He's getting closer. Yep, that baby's pretty close now. Within 50 feet.
Looks like a fog moving in, don't it? Hmm. I don't know what's causing that. <laughs> oh, man, he's been then twenty feet then. Never get brave. Gonna fish the Taylorsville Catfish Tournament this weekend coming up. Got my live well all set up and pumps put in, ready to rock and roll on that bad boy. But I don't have a decent partner to go that wants to split the cost. I ain't doing it all by myself. I can't afford it. But it'd be fun, I believe. Damn, they were circling me like fucking Godzilla. Damn. Out there. Mm -hmm. Scaring all the fish away. Maybe a corral right around my rods out there. I'll get a drive-by bite. Oh, beaver, come on. Quit scaring the fishies. This is the first time this year that I've been out night fishing, and it's also the first time that I forgot to put on my big boots, waterproof boots. I got some junky old hey dude looking shoes on or whatever they are. And man, I can't get wet. But I go to load the boat, put a little cast net, because it'll get cold. I think it's going to see my breath. But you know, it's always like 10 degrees cooler on the water. Feels like it any damn way. <clears throat> anybody in there? Anybody out there? Ain't that right, Lisa? I'm proud of my PB till I beat it again. That beaver, he ain't too far away from here now. I think he's heard me talking now. He, he's like, let's get the hell out of here, man. He ain't going nowhere. He ain't even catching no fish. <laughs> uh, there was a beaver back there up in somebody's yard. Along that edge there, they had a whole bunch of, it looked like Bradford pear trees. I don't know what they was, though, but they was about the size of those. All along the lake down there, and the beaver done chewed up like three of them. There's probably 20 of them down through there. Shit, he'll have field day. They look fresh, too. All of them about eight inches round. Maybe not that big. Yeah, 
Yep. About five years ago, they come through here and planted these, and here you are eating them. I was up in Boom National Forest back in the winter there. And I found a great old big tree down in this holler and about seven or eight feet up off the ground. All the bark around that tree was freshly peeled off. There was no deer. And it was probably about two feet up peeled off. Fresh. I don't know. Maybe it was an elk. I don't know. There's supposedly elk up in there now. But this was with no deer. I know that. It was way too high. I was stand there and put my hand up and my wrist would start where it started at. Probably went from seven to nine feet. I don't think it was no bear. I didn't see no gouges. I don't know if the bark was off of it. Kitty, 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 kitty. You need to bite now. Womp, womp, womp. This is Tall Tales with Lee Evans. Fishing Tall Tales. <laughs> That's the other name for a show, isn't it? Tall Tales. About catfishing. Is it truth or is it lie? Why the hell keep hitting the boat? Like a log or something. It's shed. I think it's shad hitting the bottom of the boat. There goes a big school of them. I'm still here. <coughs> Thinking about another cup of coffee. Because when the coffee's out, this big ass going home. That's all it is to that. And it was a full thermos when I just got here. 
It's one of them Beggins. Beggins. Big old Stanley. Them things by God ain't cheap no more. I can tell you that. Son of a bitches are high. I'll tell you all that, I didn't buy it. I got it for Christmas. I couldn't afford one of them damn things, $60 for a daggone big thermos. Some of the bitches of government is raping our ass. I don't know if y'all follow dirt track racing or anything. But man, there's three or four big names just got hit with some heavy, heavy penalties for cheating. They take a tire sample and send it off, and it's got to conform to a standard and test. And theirs came back negative. Like a drug test for your tires. I think, I don't know, I think sometimes, you know, the track can get shit on it from other people's tires that are our dirty tires, you know, different classes and stuff that run, it's, it's not policed that well, and they can dirty their tires, and, you know, you got to figure that sometime throughout the night that after the spinning tire, rubber has built up on the track with that chemical in it. You go out there, start racing, spinning your tires. And when your tires heat up, they start absorbing that chemical as it's on the track. And now it's coming in contact with your tires. You may not have a total legal tire at the end of the night. By God, I'm just giving them the benefit of the doubt, okay? Some bitch is cheating. Says low battery. What the hell? It says it's charging again, so let's try it again. It just quits charging for some reason. Could be because it's a old ass fucking iPhone. I don't need a new iPhone. Everybody got them iPhone 15, 15 Pro. You can get $1,500, $1,600 for a damn phone. And if you made money off of it and it made you money, that'd be a little different. But for the average Joe, pee. Give me the old shit. I like to have me an old flip phone. Can't get on no internet. Can't do no texting. Just call me. I'll call you. If I answer, get lucky. Now, hell, the heating and air is all down, computer control, TVs are all 
computer or phone controlled. I have a computer in the house that's tied into the damn Wi-Fi. The government hacked us by go we be. They probably already have. Know everything about you. But we ain't done nothing or do nothing. We're too stupid. We're sitting out in the fucking weather, cold at night, time to catch a dumbass catfish. <laughs> but that boy's so dumb, by God, he, he ain't no sense going to his house, by God. Just drive by. He dumb. And if I move, I got to pull both anchors in. Damn. Reel everything up. I just don't know if it's worth it. Because <laughs> if they ain't going to bite right here, by God, they ain't going to bite 20 feet over there. Maybe, probably remember. I'm probably wrong. I know. I know I'm wrong. Cause I have sat right beside people, and one side of the boat catch it, and the other side don't. All day long, you can switch sides. Same rod, same reel, same everything. It still does it. So it does make a difference where your bait lands. I want mine to land right in the middle of I catfish 75. I think mine's on the crash course. Y'all ever listen to a comedian called uh, James Gregory? <laughs> that old fucker is nuts, boy. Uh, I like to sit around on the porch with him one evening. Well, another cup of coffee down, another cigarette, might as well have another. I had three lighters and can't find none of them. I don't know what it is about fishing. I'm freaking chain smoke. Yeah, check him out. Look him up on YouTube. James Gregory. Big old fat dude. He's funnier than hell. Sometimes he's clean. Sometimes he's, you know, he can get a little wrong too. Raunchy. But who ain't, you know. You know, I know the fish are out there. But them fish miners marking fish back there. Something back there. 
big old purple red arches. There's a lot of fish at 12 to 15 foot deep. A lot of bait fish. Crappie or something. I need to learn how to do that crappie fishing. I mean, I see guys up here catch them all the time, you know, and every now and then they get a hold of a good one, you know, 16, 17 inches long. But most of them are in the 8, 9 inch, 10 inch range. I watched one guy sit up there one day and he must have found a nest of them because he was about 25 feet in the bank. It runs about 10 foot deep up through there on a shallow mud shelf up through there. And he sat there on spot lock and just, I bet he caught 30 of them. Caught so many, he was calling them. Well, shit, come on, two air, one fish to the boat, couldn't get him in, and one other bite. That's it. I mean, I kept tension on that fish, you know? It wasn't like he got no slack. He just done a big roll out there at the top of the water and come swimming right at me and I caught up with him and started pulling up and he started taking drag and all of a sudden just <laughs> gone. Here we go again. Tall tales with Lee Evans. <laughs> People dog up our herb and barking up hell up there now. Standing in the back door in the house. We're probably in there. Shut up, you little son of a bitch. <laughs> I don't know. Some people pop on top of their dogs like I do one. <laughs> I don't mistreat mine. I just, by God, they know I'm the boss. What I say goes. I mean, say, come on, let's go outside. They'll just lay there. Look at her. She'll go over and open the door. They'll just lay there. I can walk in the room and I say, get outside. My God, they can't wait. They'll tear the door off hand just trying to get out. The thing you hear about Lee Evans' show, damn. All kinds of weird shit, ain't it? Just don't go watching play pens put together or desk chair in a fallen or having makeup put on. Scary times. <laughs> What did that man become? <laughs> Jack lives in with the lid and the walleye have lost their lives for a year. Good. Yeah, I read that. 
Uh, on my search thing there, I got Pushy Pass Campground, IRS, Where's My Refund, and StreamYard Studio. <laughs> oh, come on. <clears throat> Anthony up there at Watch Bar, they built a new campground right beside Tom Fuller boat ramp. Nice, big, nice gravel campground, brand new, big restaurant there and everything. Well, hell, you could stay in a hotel cheaper and you can park a camper there. Still got to buy the damn camper and pay to park the son of a bitch. So you're making a monthly payment. You know? That's $75 a night. Plus taxes. You know, three nights, almost 300 bucks. Well, that's your monthly payment. That's the whole point. Must be for them rich bastards down there. There's a bunch of them. We seen a sign posted on the side of the lake on some property. It said 10 acre tracks starting at 10.5 million. <laughs> I was like, got starting. My God. They look nothing but like a hillside. Blow, blow, see me no wind. Blow like it never gonna blow again. Damn, I wish I brought the heater now. It's cold as shit. I thought they said 45, 44, somewhere around right there. But that was supposed to be like 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning. Well, I got it feels like it's 31. Just hair ass below freezing. I don't like to get cold. Too old for that shit. Come on. Nose is starting to run, getting freaking cold. Beaver's back up behind me up here somewhere. I hear him hitting again. Coons are fighting on the bank, sounds like. <clears throat> when well, it wasn't cold, I really love nature. Now that it's cold, fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the shit that Lee Evans says just ain't right. I thought about going to Tennessee this weekend, but damn, I can't afford that. Four hour drive down there, and four hour drive back.
all in the boat. They ain't got no bait. Take down there. I'd like to. Be good to see everybody. Maybe make some amends to some and think that I've done them wrong. Fish, y'all going to bite? We're going to have to roll up and get the fuck out of here. One of the others is going to happen here pretty soon. That's your final warning. Sorry, y'all. I do have a filthy mouth. I mean a bad mouth. Sailors don't party cuss as worse as I do. It's from years and years and years of construction labor. No excuses. It's just, sometimes I catch myself. And sometimes I just don't. He said, life like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Well, if I had my blanket and my heater, I'd just sit right here and go to sleep. But I don't. And it don't look like the fish is going to bite right there in this spot. And I don't know why. Jenny, can you tell me why, Jenny? They said, oh shit, he's talking about Forrest Gump and Jenny again. Damn. What about Jenny taking advantage of the special needs? Yeah. Nobody saw that side of the show, did they? Where's the leftist? Where's the Karens at now? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, yeah. It's... Damn, Mason. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just bullshitting out. Fish ain't biting. I'm bored as shit. I'm getting cold. <clears throat> You can only drink so much warm hot coffee at one time. And then you'll wonder why I talk to myself a lot. Because of the coffee heart and don't eat them brick fried potatoes. Mm -hmm. Come on, you caffeine. Mm -hmm. so shit, he's went from sling blade. Yeah, that's good. Somebody said pour a little Irish cream in there. I need to figure out what that is. I went somewhere and with somebody somewhere, and I can't remember where I was at, and they had one. I ordered a coffee and they ordered an Irish cream. 
Bailey's or something. Oh, it was Amy's brother. That's right. And I didn't go nowhere. He fixed it. He's got a bar. He fixed him in a, he fixed him one. I wanted to try it. But man, coffee's just meant to be drank black. I mean, damn. Juan Valdez roll over in his grave right now. People putting all that creamer in their coffee. But half y'all don't even know who Juan Valdez is. He was the Columbia coffee guy from Folgers. Well, maybe it's Maxwell House. One of them. I think it's Folger. Hand crushed by Juan Valdez himself. <laughs> Coffee beans from Colombia. Matt, what's going on? Go find the link. Come up here, Matt. Because if I try to post it again, I'll probably hang this son of a bitch up. No, you ain't doing nothing. Sitting around in your boxers and a wife beater. Looking at porn. One channel. Got a side screen of YouTube. <clears throat> I don't like I brought enough cigarettes for this shit. Damn. Pack and a half. Maybe I do. Maybe I need to fucking leave now. You know, it wouldn't be a bad choice. I don't want to mess with the phone too much. I'll keep it fucking around with it and it'll come unplugged. And I won't know it. <clears throat> Shit. Not too far from this where I caught my PV in this lake. I'm probably only about 50 yards from it. But it was a different time of year and a different type of way of fishing. But I've almost always caught a fish right through here. Here, even, you know, you have your times, but I must have. I pulled at least one every time I fished here, at least one out, I believe. A few times, no, but I had my chance while ago, had him right to the boat. Uh oh, uh oh, come on. Oh, there he goes. Come on now. 
Don't see that band. I hope y'all can see that one. Probably not, but this one. It is what it is. So you need to downsize that piece of chicken even more. As long as you stand here like this, it won't happen again. I'll go back there and sit down there and do it again, probably. Maybe a little spire is out there. We'll know what I'm doing in there. Little bastards. Yo, it's cold as shit. See, they do that shit just enough to say, hang about it, God. Let's not go nowhere. Hang out right here for a minute. He gets there and he thinks he's going to move. We'll go home. We'll bite. Make him stay. So how much can he tough out this cold? That's what it boils down to. do have that great old big uh, drift sock. I can get covered up in it. I wonder what the hell that else in that damn gum library or for a dry storage thing. I got all kinds of shit in there. Let's see what I got in there. There's rain suit. Gloves. Oh, hell yeah. What the hell is that big thing? Oh, hell. And like playing now, though. As long as my feet don't get freezing cold, I'll be all right, I reckon. But he's here, it's some big warm sun guns right here, bro. Insulated, poxulated, infatuated, and hard to get on <laughs> with your shoes on. Because all that insulation wants to come out with it.
Watch me get a big major bite, and I got one leg in trying to get the other leg. Oh, this is hard on fat man. I think the last time I had these on was back in the deer season. I took the boat and went down the river. Just cruised along the edge of the river, looking. Seen several big deer. They chickened out. Just couldn't do it. Oh, this is much better. Warm. Oh. Now if I get, get my feet. See if anybody say anything. Uh, uh, uh. Well, nine people in here watching the rods for me. It means I'll sit down and get warmed up. Gloves, all these clothes I just put on that I found in my boat. I'll make a big bundle of clothes I piled on here. Put these gloves on. <sighs> oh, yeah, yeah, come on. <clears throat> now we can sit here for a minute. I'll finish this cup of hot coffee, y'all. If it ain't got cold since I was changing clothes. I'm not changing, adding. <sighs> that orange rod definitely got hit pretty daggone good.
That's Mr. Uncle Lou. And right to his left, that's Mr. P.J. Kirks. Uh, what do they call that? That's the... Uh, uh, some lady rod or something. That's the one Amy got. Bought herself. That I use. Then there's three big games. And one Mad Cats. And one Anvil. The other two, Uncle Law or Rod, Lou Rods, are up here in the front of the boat just sitting there. Plus, there's another ugly stick. I'm multi, I got multi rods. I'm multitasker. The only thing about having gloves on is I can't get a cigarette out and light it anytime I want to. That might help. No, I don't. I like doing this right here, though. I need to get me a better camera set up. But hell, the time I spend my money going fishing, I can't afford to put nothing else into it. There's parts of this lake that I can move right on. I'm not too far from here, and I lose service. This is one of the sections that I like to fish, and I got service, so pretty decent, I guess. Everybody says it is. I don't ever go back and rewatch nothing I do unless I'm called out on something, because I gotta find it. But I don't care. I don't usually get called out because I don't care. Must be some kind of current going somewhere now. Cause there's all kinds of trash and sticks just showed up. Hmm. Where'd that come from? And it's passing the boat. It ain't no dam that they pull water from. It just got a spillway. It runs the same no matter what. And where that water comes out at the bottom of the dam in that little spillway pond, retention pond they got built down here. <clears throat> you can go up there on the summertime when the water's just, you know, it's coming through, but it's not no major big, woof, 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 you know, constant big slosh, whatever you want to call it. Man, you can catch them shell crackers in there bigger than your hand. But I went down there and fish never got nothing and the very next day tried it again and hammered them after all that rain we had it 
flushed all these creeks out because they come up good. And this thing was muddy and had logs and trash flowing down through it. It's pretty much cleared out now. But every now and then, I guess maybe where my boat was just pushing waves up, it might have disturbed some of that down through the bank down to there. But this is my spot. I'm not moving. If I move, I go home. Eventually, want to come through. And I hook his ass. Miss Burrito, you still there? Mr. Randy, you still there? We need to get together in Tennessee and fish. When it gets warmer weather, find us a good campground, camp out and hang out. <clears throat> Cook hot dogs, drink cold beer. Do some fishing, tell lies. Well, everybody wants to do that. I like it. I just like go, you know, I just got to plan it. It's been hard to plan anything for this weekend. I just couldn't do it. Hell, I had Brad spent quite a bit of money on brand new sh uh, shoes for my truck. She got some new rubber laid down and they wasn't cheap. But it was getting to the point that I was afraid to take the boat and come here. Not really afraid, but I was just like, man. Plus, I need to get me a spare for my boat trailer because I had a blowout on it. And I ain't even put a spare. I ain't even got a spare with it. So if I go back and I'm flat, I'm going to drive it so much home on a flat. I don't think I wouldn't do it. I drag that son of a bitch all the way home. Smacking trees and mailboxes all the way there. <laughs> Damn. See, I believe he would. Well, hell yeah, I know he would. I would back it over in the creek down there somewhere and put it in. Let it sit there till the next flood come up. Which they say could be again this weekend.
Come on, 50 pounder. I ain't asking for mother. Said, Lord, take me downtown. I'm just looking for some touch. All right, Mr. Beaver, I hear you over there. Well, I think I'll turn this off and listen to some music. And make myself a countdown. But if I ain't caught up by a certain time, then by God, I'm going to the house. Yes, Mr. Beaver, get closer. You had to swim down the lake, get your little pace. I... Hey, on your way back, you're gonna strut your stuff, don't you? Why you don't swim down there and eat that chicken? Here comes that fog again. Damn, baby, we're about to splash water in the boat. Hope he don't try to get into somebody. No, I will let him have it. Boy, wouldn't that be something? <laughs> yes, Mr. Baker, it's me, Coffin. This fog coming through here is making my lungs feel. No, it's that big old beaver, Matt.
I don't want it to do that. Damn it. What the hell? Do that. I'll do that. I'll go here. I'll go here. And click paste. There we go. Let's see if that worked. I hope not, Matt. Like I said, if he tries to get in the boat, I probably let him have the son of a bitch. I got my damn gloves. Shit. I'm going to smoke a cigarette while I got them off. <coughs> 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 son of a bitch, Harold. All right, got the cigarette, Lily. Time to put the gloves back on. For you. All right, finish the gloves. We're going on. Let's go. Ain't nothing fair in this fight. Let's roll, baby. Hmm. I can take an ass whooping as well as I can give one. Probably a little too well. Because <laughs> I ain't as spry and young as I used to be. So that old son bitch still got some hops. Matt, Tristan's struggling a little bit. He might need a word of encouragement every now and then. In AIT, his MOS, man, he said it's the hardest shit he's ever done in his life. Not like physical labor, but mentally. He's, he's learning shit he never even know existed. And expected to know it in a week. <clears throat> Said you don't get time to go back and change it either. Once you figure it out and do it, or or think you got it figured out and do it, he said you better turn it in. He said, because if you don't, you turn it incomplete, it's worse. He's almost at the verge of being recycled, he said. But he, he says that shit every time he has an evaluation. He panics. Uh, but the thing for failure is way up there. Like, you know, if you get an 84, it's failed. You got to be high 90s to pass. He said he passed his last two by the skin of his fucking teeth. When your tolerances are 64,000s, 
My God, that's, you can't even see that. <clears throat> you got five days to figure out the composite. He said, they show you one time, my God, that's it. And the rest of it's on you to figure it out, study it. He said, I went to work on helicopters, and he said, I ain't even seen one while I've been down there. Got doors and stuff, look like the helicopter doors and parts and stuff. I said, I thought he was going to learn to work on the sun bitches, like engines. No. He's doing the structural engineering part, body parts. Uh oh, I seen action. I seen action. Far right rod. Y'all probably can't see it. See, just another bite to just just enough to fuck with. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I, I call him. Well, I, I shouldn't say I call him. I get to text him just about every night now. And I usually tell him, you know, uplift him and try to give him positive vibes and thoughts and stuff. Because there's some shit went down and he thought he was going to get caught up in the middle of it. Couldn't find out it wasn't even his shit. But, you know, in the Army... When one does bad, everybody gets punished. And he took it kind of hard. But he came through it. He yeah, used to, you know, in, in school, regular school, high school, and growing up, the kid was never, that I know of, in trouble. And I don't think he got in trouble down there, but he got pretty close. Enough that scared his little ass. And it wasn't of his doing. He just happened to be there being stupid. I told him, I said, when you choose your friends, you better choose them wisely. But, you know, you take a hillbilly out of Kentucky. And you, I'm not saying it's nothing bad. Now, don't y'all, don't take me the wrong way. I'm not saying this in a bad way. But you take a hillbilly out of Kentucky. You don't, they've never seen nothing but the big city of Bria. Richmond, you know, he's been places, but when you raise somewhere small, things are different. And you pair that person with somebody that's raised in Chicago or Detroit, Miami. You know, they got ways of doing things that this hillbilly ain't never seen that make it look enticing. I told him just be smart. That's all you can do, you know. But he's saving all of his money up, Matt. So he's doing good.
we seen him one care box. We're getting ready to send him another near the, probably maybe tomorrow or the day after. I'm going to send you some local stuff from home again, you know, local drinks and snacks that they make around here. But you can't get anywhere else. But hell, I'm really afraid to send it to him, though. Because when he was in basic training, my God, if he had something like that, he had power. He was trading and shit, doing shit. Firewatch and stuff like that. Hell, you trade somebody a daggum Snickers bar, they'd, watch your, they'd stand your hour guard. If I send him in, because that stuff ain't cheap. That beef jerky he likes is about twenty dollars a bag, and he wanted two bags. So, yeah, he have a pot of gold down there. You know why? But that pole just all of a sudden just hit and quit. I mean, the little channel cat. Maybe with something swam into the line. Big carp. What are some bacons in here? I seen one come up top of the water back there. The other day when it was a real pretty and I was out back there in that super shallow, about five foot deep. I was just sitting there. And I looked over and there come a big carp down through there. I bet he was three and a half feet long. course if, if that rod there gets hit that's the one I the reel I hate the most well there's another cup of coffee down I usually don't even bring that rod and reel, but I did about two months ago, maybe a little longer. It was a good sunny day. It was cold, but it was sunny. I come out here, me and Dalton, and we was pulling boards around in front of this house here. And Dalton said, Dad, 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 the rod. And I looked over, and that rod was doubled over, and the planer board was underwater. And when it popped up, it was about, 25 30 feet on the other side of the boat still going so i started reeling down on that son of a gun trying to catch up because it was kind of coming forward and then when i caught up with it he came all the way back over to this side and got right up almost even with the boat about 50 feet out because it was the last plane board i was running six boards it was a far outside one probably i had that thing probably down and Dragging probably 50 feet behind the board. And when he took off, I couldn't set that drag fast enough. And even when I did get the drag set all the way, he still pulled to that line, went pitting, come all the way out, spooled it off. I couldn't do nothing about it. And then the plane board come up about 75 yards out just the board so he pulled the line through all that fucking through all that through that board eye and everything but you know if i'd had clips like ronnie beckley had lucky ronnie he had these little red clips that had a lever they don't come off
you don't lose your board is out, you know. What the hell? I swear, that was like something hit the front of the boat. Like a log or something. Maybe that baby wants to get in fight, Matt. You hear me squall here in a minute and jump up on that rod rack back there. Taking the net as I go because I'm going to catch him. See what uh, down scan. See what looks like under the boat. Nothing but a bunch of bait in about ten foot deep. But those are way out there too. They're probably right under the boat. So. See that. Winds or something is blowing all that trash that away. That's what it's got to be. I feel the wind blowing now. Can't handle too much of this now. I hear the Yodis are barking. A barking. The Irish Yodis are barking. When is St. Patty's Day? And it's just this Saturday. And three coyotes can sound like 50. I actually think there's a little current coming from somewhere. Because those rods there are hanging straight down and they're just tilted just to the left, just a little bit. Come on, orange rod, and take it down, honey pie. See there? Just enough to make you say, damn it, boy. I think he does a big 50 foot circle out there. Hits that rod, swims over here, makes the turn. Hits that rod, swims over there, makes the turn. Hits that rod, swims back over there, then makes a turn and come back with this rod. I know that's what that bastard does.
Man, I didn't tell you what I seen this afternoon either. There's some guy loading a boat when I got here. And uh, I just pulled up there in the parking lot and got lined up or in the parking spot there where I could just get out and get everything ready and then just back straight down the ramp. Well, he had his boat halfway up on the trailer. And he drove off. And it come off. And you know what that idiot done? He slowly backed that son of a bitch and trailer right back up into the nose of that boat and pushed it back out into the water. Well, when he let it, one boy get in the boat and pushed it back out into the water and then that boy drove it back up on the trailer. You know, it is a fiberglass too. Bass boat. I can't figure out how he really done it unless he just thought he would uh, pull it up on the trailer and it would stay while the other boy pulled out. Because, I mean, they was already halfway off when I made the turn to back to get lined up, you know, and I was getting my shit ready and looking down there. It's like, what the fuck? Idiots, those idiots. I got to figure out what weekend of the, of the year, this year, since they got that new kayak launch thing, the past two or three years, they've had a kayak fest out here. There'd be 60 or 70 of them some bitches. Not fishing either. Just riding. Old people. I hear a coon over there fighting or squalling. And I don't want to be out here that weekend all them kayaks are here. Because I made that mistake the first year when they was only like 25 or 30. I mean, it's an idle speed only lake, and when you're going idle speed down through there, though, and the kayaks are 10 feet from you. So they line up across the lake, and like, I don't know what the hell they do. Well, I ramble on about anything, don't I? I'm a rambling man. Don't mess around with no rambling man. Well, three bites in an hour does not constitute staying another hour. Time is it here? It is twelve oh eight. I'm gonna give it to one o'clock. If nothing happened by one o'clock, my ass is going to the house. Wouldn't it be cold for a whole school of them to come down through here? Talking about school bus load. Midlands, Beggins, bottom dwellers, top dwellers. Well, 
I know what that noise is. That's the that anchor stretched. And the rope has got just a hair slack in it. It makes a noise when it rubs there. See, all the action though has been on these three rods on the right. There ain't nothing happened to them four on the left. I'm talking nothing. Absolutely zero. Infinite zeros. motion light come on up there. That helps. It's the final countdown. If you motherfuckers are gonna bite, now's your chance. Ta-da! I'm gonna pour me one more cup of coffee. my glove off and look at the phone, see if there's even anybody in there, whether it's worth being on. Alright, man. Alright. Appreciate it. Alright, y'all. Ain't nobody in here, so I'll see y'all later. Toodaloo!